Hi everyone. Uh, a few days back, it broke in the news that uh, Disney is bringing in Nike executive Mark Parker as their new chairman. But before that, Anand, I think we should give everybody a happy Pongal greeting. Happy Pongal. Happy Pongal, everyone. And wherever you are, happy Sakranti and Baisaki and whatnot. It's a harvest festival across India, especially in parts of western, northwestern India. And even in the Far East, it's a very holy day. The sun changes from south to north, the Celestus. Yes. And it's a harvest festival. It's a big festival here in Tamil Nadu where I live. And I wish you all a happy Pongal. Coming back to point. So, yeah. what, what do you think? This Mark Parker from Nike, why did they pull him in? Mark Parker, basically what has happened is, everybody went big on streaming. So did Disney. Disney lost the IPL rights, the digital rights. And everybody watches now on digital. Yes, and India is one of the biggest markets. India market. is one of the biggest markets. And so, Bob Chipak got a book. And so, when they found Bob Eager back to run the company. Bob, time. Yeah. So, Bob Eager said that I will run only for two years. He has taken over in November. So, they wanted a strong chairman who would be in a position to find a suitable, and a suitable candidate for the CEO and handle the transition to the new CEO. Smoothly. Smoothly. So they bought Mark Parker. Mark Parker for till 2019 was the executive chairman of Nike. But Nike is a family run company. The Knights own yes, the yes, company. Apple and oranges here. They own it lock, stock, barrel. Correct. Very, the Disney family does not exist. There's only one grand yes. nephew yes. and he doesn't have many children and this thing. So this is the institutionally run company. So we are talking oranges with Apple first. Very true. Phil Knight, that 86 year old man can hire anybody, fire anybody in this company. Correct. So Parker is moving from a family-owned company to a to a board of directors, board to of public, direct, publicly traded, company. publicly traded company. And though there is a gap, he quit in 2019 and he is coming here in 2022. But he is credited with doing a lot of good things in Nike and building their business brand, etc., etc. Now the problem for Disney is that everybody has got into streaming, right? Very true. True. So they have into they are into streaming. Netflix is into streaming. Netflix is in streaming. Apple is in streaming. Apple is streaming. Viacom is Viacom in streaming. Viacom is in streaming. Sony is going yes. to stream. Peacock, Paramount. Paramount. Then Sony you have, then is you have the old ones like Hulu. Hulu. And Sony is what in this? Sony has got their own platform. Sony has got their own platform. Yes. And Sony has made a big acquisition in India. They have swallowed Z. Correct. So they are becoming very strong competitor to Disney, which owns Star. And for all of these streamers, India is a big market. India is a huge market. That's China why they are spending huge. a lot of money on Indian content. Okay. And recently, even RRR guy has won a lot of awards in uh, US. Indian media cinemas are getting a lot of attention in uh, yeah. US because they are trying to build it up in US yeah. also. So, what has now happened is, there is a huge hedge fund called Three Point. He is an activist hedge fund. He bought into Disney and said yeah, Disney should spin off ESPN, the sports division, into a separate uh, company. And Disney bought. And so... Because it's a cash cow. ESPN cash, for them is, is a like cash star cow. sports in India. ESPN and star sports is same. Yes. So now what Disney is doing is, and in the pandemic, theme parks did badly. And what the theme parks it? got into trouble with the Republican governor, Ron... Don says it, DeSantis. DeSantis. Yes. So now DeSantis. they needed to fix everything. They bought Bob Eager back. Yes, even internationally, their theme parks were suffering under COVID in China. COVID. And there's another problem. They allow Pixar, whenever they were in trouble, Pixar delivered a hit. Yes. And this time Pixar's movie proved Couple to be a couple of them have just gone straight down the dirt. Yes. So all dirt. this is a problem. I think that colored person as a hero who died and is now another movie has been released. Yes, you're talking about uh, Marvel. You're talking about Black Panther. Yeah, Black Panther. Wakanda Forever. Yeah. Wakanda Forever. Has it done well? Or you Not as well as they needed to do. Let's, let me done. correct it. Hmm. They needed to do really spectacularly well. Mm. It's done well. But for the amount of money that was pumped into it for not only making the movie and advertising it and producing, you know, doing all the press junk and everything, all put together and with the profit sharing, the way it is outside India, I mean outside US, they've not made enough and uh, it's not stellar. So what Disney is looking is for a big yes. Yes. Okay. So they have bought back Igor, but Igor is not going to stay there forever. So they need to find a guy to run this company. It's absolutely true. They are going through a transition internally like this. And also in all their platforms like Marvel, which is one of their big cash churning cows, it's going through a transition right now. From one uh, class to another class, they are switching over. All the old uh, actors have all moved out. Yeah. The first series of Marvel movies. 
now the new series of Marvel movies are coming. It's going to take time for it to build up steam again. And the Star Wars franchise is also kind of turned petered off. It's not doing very well. So the, the problem franchise. for Disney is it's a publicly limited traded company, yes. and uh, it has to. It cannot take two years. It, if given two years, it can turn it around. Like Dell took his company private. Somebody takes Disney private, but there's no Walt Disney or Walt Disney's grandson to take it private. Correct. So all this is transition has to happen in public glare. Correct. But I believe. In the long term, correct. Disney has a lot of value when it is beaten down because it has the huge best library content. True. So finally, in streaming, these are all short-term problems. These are all short-term fixes. Correct. Short-term problems. But this is where you are vulnerable, right? When you are in the short-term fixes, when your armor is exposed and you can, someone can punch you, the, the, the guy is doing the three point. Yeah. Someone can come and gouge one bit of you out. Yes. But the real thing, that's where you need a owner who is willing to take it, take it, take a couple of it on the chin and say, go, guys, go, go back. I'm not going to do yes. anything. And that is the transition that these guys have to handle. I don't know how they are going to handle this transition. Do you think someone, a white knight needs to come on, buy, buy them into the board? Do you think they'll go and fall someone like a Buffett's feet and say? I think so. I think Buffett is the right guy to... He is the only one who has a muscle power to do this. Not only that, he has owned uh, Disney yes. for a long term. They and have a good relationship. They have a good relationship. And so, if Berkshire decides to buy into Disney, Disney, but the price has to be good. Correct. The offer has to be. The offer has to be enticing for the old man. But old man is someone who can. Because he's done it before in the past. He has Lots of companies yes. have come to him to fend off. Uh, fend off all these problems. Yeah. If he throws his weight behind uh, Disney and this current board. In the current board and sits on the board himself. Yes. Which is too much to ask, but if he sits on the board himself for a couple of years, things will stabilize, all these will vanish and Disney will Get go through the rough patch. rough patch. I don't mind buying a bit of Disney as it dips yes. and see what happens, just yes. for Mickey Mouse sake. Yeah. You've, been, you've been recommending it to me for some time. Yeah, so anyway, this is what it is at this point of time. But I'm also going to watch as Disney tanks what old man will do. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting and when it comes to the radar of the old man. And he has won Disney in the past. Yes, he has. And made a lot of money. Tons of money. And then he merged the ABC with uh, Disney and then got out. So whether he will bite again is something we have to watch. True. Thank you for watching Be Rich. I hope you like this content. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you do not turn on the bell notification, you will not be notified every time we put out a video. Once again, I thank you for your support for Be Rich. I want to thank all of you for supporting our event in Oman with great enthusiasm. A lot of people turned up in Oman and a place where I, am, I don't have much influence. I wish to thank all of you for your support. The next event is going to be in Qatar, Doha. The event is scheduled for the last week of January. Those who would like to meet me in person in Qatar, Doha or come to our event in Doha can send their request to the mail ID given below or contact the WhatsApp number flashing on the screen. My team will respond to you. See you in Qatar in the last week of Jan. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me, can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.